Cameron from Fishing Addicts Northwest, and today we're doing a 360 flash shoot tutorial. So let's start with some basic equipment. First, you're going to want to use a long, soft, but heavy rod. Having that longer rod acts as a good shock absorber for when you're fighting the fish with this heavy gear. Second, you're going to want to use braided line. A 50 to 65 pound braided line is going to be a thinner diameter than a 30 to 40 pound mono, allowing you to use less weight and still get down to the depths that you're going to want to find these fish. And third, your line counter reel is a must. Being able to duplicate where you caught a fish or where you hooked a fish on one of the rods in the boat to get all your gear down there is an absolute necessity. Now let's talk to basic rigging. We're gonna start with our main line and you're gonna have a little bead right here that's gonna protect reeling in the swivel into your top eye of your rod, followed by a swivel that's gonna have the duo snap attachment for your weight. This is gonna be for a sliding setup and we're gonna talk about a fixed setup here in a second. Then you're gonna have a large ball bearing swivel or a large chain swivel and what that's gonna do is prevent twist from going up your line caused by the 360 flasher. Next, attached to your mainline swivel, you're gonna have a 200 pound bumper. Now you can vary your bumper length from 18 to 24, 36 inches, uh, but using a 200 pound bumper will help alleviate a lot of the tangles and get you back fishing in the water. Also, if you snag something on the bottom, since we're using a 40 pound leader with our gear, this will hopefully prevent you breaking off your Shorpa Super Series flasher. Now on each side of your flasher, you're gonna to wanna to have a good quality ball bearing swivel or a chain swivel, and that's gonna prevent all the line twists from going up your line or tangling your gear. Then you're gonna have a small duo snap, which is gonna be attached to your 40 pound CXX leader, to your three and a half spinner, or a Brad super bait, or a fresh bait. Now you ask 20 different fishermen, you'll get 20 different preferred leader lengths but a good rule to go by is starting with something that's maybe 28 to 36 inches long. Now, if you're having problems with line twist, one way you can fix that is you can add a fixed weight system versus the sliding weight. All you gotta do is detach your weight and add it somewhere on your main line swivel and just hang it straight down with the duo snap. That's gonna stop any twisting coming from the 360 flasher from moving up your line. Now another cool product that just came out this year is the Simon Breakaway System. And what that allows your flasher to do is when a fish grabs your main line, it allows your flasher to pop so this thing isn't dragging sideways when through the water when you're fighting fish. All right guys, there's three types of lures that are really effective behind a short bus super series flasher. First, you have the Simon 3.5 spinners that comes in lots of variation of fish catching colors. Then you also have the Brad Superbait series that come in the original Superbaits, the cup plug, the mini cup plug, and the new kokanee cup plug, which is already proving extremely effective for salmon, especially in these warm water temperatures. Last but not least, you can use different anchovies and herrings, but be sure to brine them in the Procure Brine and Bite because that's gonna help toughen the baits up when they're getting swung behind the 360 flashers. All right guys, if you decide to use a Brad Superbait series lure, don't forget that these cavities open up and allow you to pack tuna inside of them. Any generic kind of tuna and oil will work well, but if you want to be different than the rest of the crowd out there, don't forget to scent with different various oils and chemicals because you can add a different presentation to your bait and it'll hopefully help you get bit. There's no doubt over the last couple of years that 360 flashers have helped put more fall and spring Chinook in the box for Columbia River anglers. If you guys like what you see here, be sure to check us out on Facebook at Fishing Addicts Northwest, and we'll see you guys on the water.